Hey everyone, Cheryl from the business office here. Um, do you believe in miracles? I do, and I think little miracles occur around us every day. But there's one miracle that occurs every day, all around the world, in every church, and at every Catholic Mass. What is that miracle? The transubstantiation. You don't hear, hear that word too often anymore. But what it is, is the bread and wine being transformed into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, or as it's also known, the real presence. St. Thomas Aquinas says it's the greatest of all Catholic miracles, of all Christ's miracles. Why? Because it happens within a few seconds and all over the world. Jesus gives his whole self and we are transformed. Sadly, though, statistics show that 69% of all Catholics do not believe in the real presence. It is a hard concept to grasp. How can we fully understand that? Even Jesus' closest friends didn't understand, and many left him when he said, um, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I shall give is my flesh. It tells us that many of his disciples left that day. They just could not accept it. You know, but he never went running after them saying, hey, wait a minute, I'm only kidding. It's only a symbol. No, he didn't do that. Um, there have been many Eucharistic miracles over the years. Uh, and in one of my vlogs, I spoke about Blessed Carlos Acutis the young man from Italy who put together a database of all the Eucharistic miracles, both big ones and small ones. Um, something I haven't looked up, but I would like to. I have read uh, Joan Carol Cruz's book on Eucharistic miracles, and it's, it's, it's really a good book to read. Um, a lot of unbelievable uh, big Eucharistic miracles have occurred. Um, and sometimes even to priests, there was a priest who didn't believe in the real presence or he started to have doubts and during the mass he um, was holding up the bread um, to do the consecration and it turned into flesh in his hands and I, I forget who it is or where it is it's somewhere in Italy but um, you can still see it today and it's been tested and all that um, you know by scientists and it is flesh and it is blood so how do we convince people that Jesus is really present in the tabernacles of our churches? Uh, well, I don't think that we can, but God can. And we need to pray that the people's eyes are open to the truth. If more people truly believed in the real presence, um, our churches would be packed. How could you leave Jesus? Um, I found a great quote from... Uh, St. Faustina on um, something that the Lord said to her. And he said, oh, how, this is in her diary. Oh, how painful it is to me that souls so seldom unite themselves to me in Holy Communion. I wait for souls and they are indifferent toward me. I love them tenderly and sincerely and they distrust me. I want to lavish my graces on them and they do not want to accept them. They treat me as a dead object whereas my heart is full of love and mercy. You know, if you're having a hard time accepting the real presence, pray about it. Sit in front of that tabernacle. On Fridays, we have Eucharistic Adoration here. Just sit there, and maybe you're not going to get the answer this Friday, maybe not next Friday, but Jesus will show you. Um, I guarantee it. Have a good week. Thank you.